Hello lovely ones, welcome in to Cleo Ra. I'm going to be doing a late night reading. Now I did just get the words major laser, okay, but I'm getting that this could either be someone's been listening, I think that's an artist, right, I'm crap with names and, and stuff like that, but I think that's a musical artist, right, or it could be something more riddleistic, it could be a bit of a riddle for you or have some symbolic meaning in some other way, you know how the universe is guys, it's crazy crazy, right? I'm getting that there are gonna be a lot of positive tower moments also, like all of a sudden people are having epiphanies, all of a sudden I'm hearing grand reveals, so all of a sudden people are meeting their true self or you know, evolving in major ways or getting those things they've been waiting so long for, right? Just as I say that, we've got the seven of pentacles, so there's definitely something in the air about someone all of a sudden getting something they really, really, truly want. Something that's been on their mind for such a long, long time. Ace of Wands energy. So I'm getting this could be something to do with creation, right? This could be creation of a business, creation of something, creation of the self, right? Moyo Koyotsin, she who creates herself. You know, I love those self-creative people. So something you've wanted to create in your life or something about you you've wanted to evolve or shift is going to come in really quickly here. I'm getting that this is a reward for someone who's always been such a cute, sparkly, sweet being, okay? This is like you getting everything you want because you've been loyal, you've been devout, you've been loyal to your own ideals and to your good heart. That's all God wants is for people to be loyal to their own heart, right? We've got the three of cups here and I feel like this is gonna feel like a party for you, okay? I'm seeing really shimmering kind of lights, kind of like this kind of energy here you know very multifaceted very beautiful very heavenly so this could very well be a party in your soul or like something happening outwardly that matches your inner state of being with multiple people celebrating you there we go star player okay you're a star angel you're a star cherubim okay so this is something that is coming to you because the universe recognizes how much beautiful energy you create for the world. And I'm hearing never giving up. You never gave up on your dreams. You never let anyone stamp out your heart here. Yeah, we've got the seven of wands, which is called the seven of wires in the neon moon tarot. And I feel like, you know, you've had your fair share of having to repel these fools. You know what I mean? Like having to dodge and dart them and having to... I knew that candle was going out. You know what? This is anyone's power over you being extinguished. They told me when it first started, when I first lit the candle, that it might not last long. You see this? Because I was trying to get the wax out of the bowl and then I revealed the wick. So I had a feeling it wasn't going to burn long, okay? They told me this would be symbolic throughout the reading. It would go out at a certain point. So you guys know what this means to you. But I feel like, you know, this is an end to any... Any external people that think they've got any control over you whatsoever, that represents their flame going out. Yes, the six of wands, okay? They're showing me six candles, like you just burn brighter than these people. You just know who you are and I'm getting such a cute energy off of this reading, like you've been waiting a long time for something. You've had to defend yourself a long time and now bam, this is like a cherubim, really getting what they need from the world, right? We've got the uh, page of wands. So anticipate, anticipate some passionate offers when it comes to your creativity or who you are, right? We've got the Seven of Swords showing up and the Two of Swords. See, this is what I'm saying. Any hijinks against you are going to be cancelled out to the point where you just don't see it. You know, you're floating around it. You're so well protected here that you're just going to keep flowing up in a higher higher bubble of life because you're so good at maintaining your angelic angel wings they're showing me a heart with wings like your heart has wings oh that's so cute and beautiful that is so cute let's get some of these uh timeline cards so we can see what's going on with your magical timeline and your magical ways there we go ace of cups pure connection this is who you are with this ace of hearts okay you've got a pure connection cherubim you're a special cherubim 
okay? I knew I should come on tonight and do a reading. I just knew it. And this is you getting everything you ever wanted for being a special cherubim. And I'm hearing that you've got special connections to Venus with this Empress card, okay? Music could mean a lot to you, okay? You're really connected to nature. You're really connected to the stars, the planets, okay? Where should I put this? Let's put this Empress here, okay? Because you've got a special connection. And we've got the High Priestess. Wow. Special connection to the backstage. Ace of Cups. Ace of Swords. Judgment. This is it for you. Wow. It's an end to all of these horrible illusions. You know who you are now. Okay? You know who you represent. You know you represent God. And you know you're so protected. This is beautiful with all these cards. The Empress, the High Priestess. Your emotions are really balanced out and special here. Opales opalescence. They're giving me Pisces. So you could have just mastered. You could just have mastered the uh, 12th house somehow. Okay. This is like you've got an access into the secure palace of your higher self. And you've brought your inner palace into physicality but on the inside of you is this making sense like you've managed to become the sovereign version of yourself cherubim because you kept bridging your way to the higher worlds through your pure connection to your heart over and over and over again now it's like the penthouse of heaven is your natural state of being now whatever your personal vision of heaven is you've managed to make your internal world your own unique star bright heavenly realm okay so this is how you're just so protected we've got another ace here the ace of wands or the ace of clubs fired up energy pure connection so this is divine protection here archangel gabriel could mean a lot to you okay but this is definitely you getting all the offers you want and living how you want here Pure satisfaction, nine of cups, nine of hearts, energy. Dreams do come true for the cherubim. Yes, dreams certainly do come true. And we've got a soulmate bonus on the bottom of the deck here. So watch out for that, okay? I'm hearing the universe is taking your orders, okay? Any requests, anything you want to do with your soul group, your soulmate, they're listening. You're more closely connected than ever before. I don't know what that means to you, but... This is something about getting access to your shared lives or more connection in the dream space. Something like that. Show me the Ace of Wands. Seven of Cups. Okay, I'm hearing you've mastered it. Okay, you are now an illusion to anyone who before would have preyed on you. You're an enigma. They're giving me enigma here. Show me this Seven of Pentacles. So this is like having a cloak where people just can't figure you out again that 12th house energy yeah when people are always projecting on you they don't ever know who you truly are so them projecting on you keeps you safe right what's this one the four of pentacles again you've made such good investments here chosen the right priorities so you know the physical stuff's getting built quite nicely here okay yeah this is total celebration over the devil okay this is you wrangling your own inner demons not allowing yourself to be your own worst enemy this is you truly finding faith over and over again to become who you truly truly are temperance energy with this star healing yourself into position coaxing yourself you know you've got to be such a good parent to yourself to get yourself in your sovereignty on a permanent basis you've got to be your own best friend your own cheerleader your own healer right and you've done it you've you've played this role for yourself you've coached yourself into your own greatness and reward it's something about the self-parenting here coming through like you did such a good job guiding yourself through something celebrating yourself i'm getting that message there's plenty of people out there in the world that will put me down i'm not going to do it myself like maybe you're one of these people who've got like i don't know cute grandparents or something and you respect your elders and you've taken on board you know, the things they would tell you when you were, were young. I feel like that's for somebody. Something beautiful here about the way you, you know, love your own self as a cherubim, right? Three of Wands energy here. So you've got a lot of energy that's, that's you know, responding to you at the moment with this Three of Wands. And it's because you've held your ground and refused to take, to take anything other than pure victory. Page of Swords here. 
I do feel like this is going to be quite a big victory over your haters, okay? Vengeance is victory and victory is vengeance, okay? And you've just won here. Yeah, five of wands energy. It's like you've turned the tables somehow and now you're going to be dodging all your enemies because you're just too well protected with the love. You're on the pathway of all your dreams coming true. Yeah, Queen of Cups. The heart is the protection against any shenanigans here. And I'm hearing at your service. You see how these two are at her service? So the non-physical is doing anything to please you because you have literally connected. You've literally done this with your heart. Become a shiny, happy, self-loving person. And the universe has got to respond to that because you literally are the love walking around. Five of Pentacles with the two of swords so i don't think you're you're not on the frequency to see any shenanigans okay so this is just about you leaving anyone out in the cold who isn't supportive of you we've got the ace of cups just falling off again here peace cherubim power loving life right pure satisfaction living the dream let's see what extra help is coming out from the physical and the non-physical show me winner of the battle but I feel like, you know, this internal battle to be who you truly are is where the real win is here. Show me. Look at this goddess power from the non-physical. Can you see that? There are only like two of these cards in the whole deck. And you've got supreme non-physical protection here. King of Swords. Okay, this could be an elder masculine figure in the non-physical. Someone who's like a navigator. They give you advice and guidance. And then this is your nine of pentacles, okay? Fruiting, fruiting in the non-physical. And this is your king of pentacles. You really mastering your money, your abundance or whatever, you know, is your favorite kind of loot within the dream. For you, loot could be sitting in nature with no one stressing you out. It doesn't have to be cash, cash, cash. It's just whatever is valuable to you is coming in for you okay cherubim power all the way here someone's really in the driver's seat or someone's really found their niche and i feel like this is really peaceful and joyous 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 baby serendipity number 18 so you're just floating along you're in a bubble of heaven i feel all this is coming in for you okay this is gorgeous this is something you've worked your way towards got through the battles with you've looked at all the details you've done so much work here to get these two connected points to the non-physical so strongly connected right love and fire devotion and pure divine fire giving you that pure satisfaction and we've got imagine here so there's something about you being super turbocharged with your manifestations at the moment this isn't just about the soul group this is about whatever reality you think of you're floating into really quickly so this is about you keeping the most beautiful magical defiantly cherubim thoughts in your mind being as dreamy as you can possibly be being as mm, being as magical and dreamy as you can possibly be knowing the universe is delivering you everything you want okay this is such a, a super supercharged time for you when it comes to the way the universe is listening to you responding to you and serving you so Focus, focus, my loves. This is beautiful. I hope you've liked the video. Sending you a big kiss. Mwah.